So a subscriber came up to me the other day and was like, yo, I got some footage on my file share and I'd really like you to look, take a look at it. Just go ahead and tell me what I did right and wrong. So I looked at the footage, I got his file downloaded, went into theater. I started watching and I noticed very consistently that he was pushing alone. Well, I mean like pushing for power weapons, positions, objectives in the game. He was always doing it by himself. And I noticed that he was usually going against like two or three guys at a time and he was just getting demolished. Whenever it was just one guy, he'd usually do pretty good. He had some skill. But there's always just the times where he was getting outnumbered and he was just getting destroyed. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I'm Perplexality, and you guys may not know me, but I upload a lot of tips and strategy videos and I've been selected to be the new main director on the Halo Fix. Uh, so I'm going to get, use this chance to kind of upload and talk to you guys. And this is going to be an intro video of just kind of my style and stuff like that. I'm going to use this to talk about teamwork. So, how is teamwork important? We need to understand why we want to bother with teamwork. Well, using teamwork, you're able to increase your damage, reduce your number of deaths, increase map awareness, and perform strategies and maneuvers that you aren't able to do alone. And these are all very important. Then we're going to talk about ways to improve uh, your teamwork and whatnot once we understand what we are to gain out of it. Now, the basics of teamwork is something called the team shot. Now, uh, if we go back to the example of the guy who submitted the file to me, you know, he said, you know, I kept getting killed. He kept getting outnumbered by the enemy players because we'll, we'll do some basic math here. Let's assume all three of them have BRs, him and the two enemies. Well, if the two enemies are both shooting at him, they need to get four headshots in order to kill him, right? They need uh, just four shots in order to be able to kill him and completely kill him. Well, that's only two shots per player. That's not four shots per each of them, but it's only two for each of the enemies. While he, in order to kill both of them and get away alive, needs to get eight perfect headshots. So he has a lot more work ahead of him than the two guys who are working together. So thus, you're going to end up dying a lot quicker because they're doing more damage and you're not going to be able to kill both of them because it takes twice as long to kill them. So if you're on the other end of that team shot, you're getting a lot more damage done, you have the ability to not get shot at initially, and they have to kill both of you in order to gain whatever position. And that's the basics of teamwork, is setting up team shots. So how do we go about setting up team shots, per se? One of the very important ways to set up team shots is to know callouts. Now, you don't have to know the actual names of callouts, but callouts are just names that we assign different parts of the map. Just like you might refer to one room of your house as the kitchen, we refer to certain sections of the map as Mohawk, Top Mid, stuff like that. Like right now, you can see there's an enemy on Mohawk. That's the name of that section of the map. So whenever I see him, I'm like, you know, uh, dude, we had a guy up on Mohawk, help me shoot at him. And that's going to create a team shot, because both of you guys are shooting at him across map. And that's what's going to allow you to establish these team shots, is telling where enemies are. Not only that, but it also increases map awareness even if you are alone. Even if you aren't res uh, responding to team shots, uh, and you know, you're know you not shooting at them, or you guys just aren't working together. If he still gives a call out, you may know, it's like, okay, there's two guys on Mohawk. I don't want to push Mohawk because I'll be outnumbered. So you can take note of that. If there's two guys on Mohawk and he calls that out, then you're not going to push. And that's what's going to keep you alive. So various things like that. And, you know, if you use this method to say where enemies are and kill them quickly, you gain a lot of control of the map. And this gives you better access to map movement, where you can move around way more freely. It gives you more access to power weapons. It just increases your, your abilities on the map overall. And I highly recommend you work on callouts and responding to callouts. It's a very big thing. So, also with various callouts, you're able to finally perform different strategies and maneuvers that you can't perform alone. The basic one is called a flank. So a flank is where you come up behind enemy players to a different angle, like right now. I'm saying, yo, we got a guy on closed ramp. That's that ramp right there. I'm gonna come up behind him while you shoot at him from the front. So he's distracted and I come up right here, ready to attack. Now he sees me now, so I'm gonna back up, of course. But that's the basic idea of the flank is you wanna come up behind them. So when you come up behind them, you get a team shot going because you're shooting at him from the back. He's shooting at you, uh, your teammate's shooting at him from the front. And he doesn't even know where you are until you're already right on there shooting at him. So it allows you to get a bunch of really cool angles on the enemies and thus create cool angles for your team shots. And that's what a lot of MLG Pro guys do. Again, what really separates out the MLG Pro players is their ability to get these flanks and various strategies implemented 
uh, through the use of callouts and working together. The ones that work together the best are usually the best teams. So because they're all so close in skill, it really doesn't make much of a difference. So definitely, definitely work on uh, callouts and responding to callouts. So if you see that you have the ability to flank someone, go ahead and go for a flank. If all of your teammates are, shoot are attacking them from the front, you can attack them from a different angle and kind of get them from a weird position and that's what's going to kill them. So it's very important for you to kind of respond to that and look at the various things and strategies. So how do we improve? How do we start doing these team shots and all that? How do we get better? Well, first of all, get a microphone. If you want to get competitive in Halo and you just want to improve, a microphone is the easiest way to do it. And just start getting a group of teammates that you know and you can talk to and who you can just communicate with. Even if you're not communicating as far as callouts, even if you're just talking and having a good time, the better, uh, the better of a mood you're in, the better you're going to do at Halo. So it not only allows you to have more fun, but it also allows you to respond to callouts more and give callouts, which will increase your teamwork. And that's what's going to increase your ability to team shot and thus make you guys all do better. And that's a very, very important part of Halo is working on that teamwork. So definitely get a microphone. Next is get a group of guys that you're going to regularly play with. You have to learn each other's play style. So, you know, if you have a few guys who are just really great and friends, then you want to go ahead and learn how they're, uh, how they're playing and how they're attacking. That way you can kind of cater to their play style and work together. A good way to cater to their playstyle and get used to them is Team Doubles. Play a lot of Team Doubles right here, because I'm actually playing with a subscriber right here, Waffle Iron. And, uh, you know, he just jumped in, we're going to work on your teamwork, dude, and we're going to get in there. And Team Doubles is the best way to do it, because it's just you two, uh, and you're able to work off playing off each other very well. And replying to call out. So always play with a certain group of players, so you can get very consistent at replying to each other's callouts, getting used to what you, each of you guys are pushing. Like me and my clan... I always push sniper rifle because I'm like the designated sniper for our team. So they know just to go ahead, that I've got sniper covered so they don't have to worry about it. And they know always to call out the enemy sniper position so that I can take him out before he becomes a problem. So various things like that are very important for us to kind of look at and understand. Now, what are some other ways that you can kind of work on teamwork? You can go into games and make sure you guys all have the set of callouts. Now you don't have to have the official pro callouts. Again, uh, the pro callouts aren't necessarily you know better for any reason than any other callouts. They're just the callouts that most people know. As long as you and your team understand the callouts, then there's no need to really worry about the pro callouts. You know, you could just as easily call the position I'm at the yellow banana. As long as you guys all know that the yellow banana means that ramp. You know, but usually we call that blue ramp. Uh, just as a note for all major players to know. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to go online, look up the official callouts. This is going to be great investment for your gameplay. It's going to be great investment to learn how to play and improve in Halo. Now, you also want to work on sticking together with teammates. You don't necessarily want to stick right on top of them, but you do want to work at knowing that you guys are together and can assist each other if need be. But if you guys stand together, you obviously have the risk of being grenaded, uh, having a rocket come in and just kind of demolish both of you. But, you know, like right here, we're both able to kind of keep an eye on certain positions. And we're both watching, so we have these guys cornered. And we're able to thus create a big team shot if they were to come out. But we're also able to control the enemy's positioning and stuff like that. How we have it right here. So work on sticking with teammates and, and establishing these, these little basic setups and traps so the enemies can't get out because you're able to cover a lot more ground by controlling these areas. Now, even if you don't have a mic and you don't know any of the players, uh, do something called the Battle Buddy System. I learned this on BingeGaming.tv. The Battle Buddy System says, you know what? Just stick with one random player in a game. You don't know him, but just do whatever he's doing, and I guarantee you're going to see an improvement in your gameplay as long as this other player knows a little bit of what he's doing. So that's various stuff. You want to work on improving... Uh, teamwork because that's gonna work on you getting team shots having better map control and thus dying and getting less and getting more kills and you guys can do this just by getting microphones working on communication and working on playing with teammates that's pretty much the end of the gameplay please remember to comment rate and subscribe to the halo fix and also to my own youtube channel which i'm sure will be linked somewhere and i hope you guys just enjoy the commentary feel free to leave comments for what you want to see next hope you guys have a great day and see you later odst out <laughs>